back with another diag video this one's on my personal truck so, so this one i dropped my kids off at school through a code on the way home it was very underpowered and got it up, got it home and checked the codes on it the codes that i have are these now the intake heater is very common i already know that's here um this i'm not sure about but it's underpowered so i know it's a fuel injector code so there we go that's what i'm focusing on a 2146 now with a 2146 code that's a injector group code meaning on a cummins it's grouped in bank one bank two which is really one bank but it's the first three cylinders and the last three cylinders so one through three is bank one four through six is bank two so it's running really underpowered right now i'm gonna see if it is one injector or what i believe is happening is with this code a lot of times it will shut off the whole group so if it has shut off the one the whole group then there's something wrong with one of the first three cylinders and if that's the case then it would just stop working all three cylinders to try to keep it from damaging it and then we just got to figure out what cylinder it is so i'm doing an injector kill test so we're going to injector one and i'm going to kill it and see if i hear a difference I don't hear anything. RPMs didn't really move. I'm going to go to injector two. Didn't hear anything. RPMs didn't move. Injector three. Still no difference. Injector four. Now this is on the other group of injectors. There was definitely a difference there. Injector five, definitely a difference there. So I know the ECM has shut off injector one, two, and three. So now I gotta dive into testing to see which one is the culprit and if it's the wiring going to it or if it is the injector so we know that the issue is on cylinder one through three now i told you there's two different banks there's a connector here in the front and there's a connector there on the back that does the back three cylinders this does the front three cylinders now i have to isolate where the issue is is it from that connector inside the valve cover to the injectors it could be the harness or the injectors or is it before that connector that we have an issue in this harness going to the ecm we got the voltmeter out and i'm going to put these the way these wires work i've already had these apart so i know the pins that are close to each other go to the same cylinder so you're looking at these front two go to cylinder one second two go to cylinder two third two go to cylinder three so we're going to ohm them out see what we get all right get that settled up here yeah you can see okay so we're going to check cylinder one and see what the resistance is Cylinder one, we're looking at 36 ohms. Cylinder two is only showing 0.9 ohms, 0.8 ohms. One ohm, 0.8 ohms. Cylinder three is checking 0.8 ohms. So we got two cylinders that are basically the same and cylinder one is way off. 
So we know we're going to have to look at cylinder one. 36 ohms there. That's way different than the others. So I'm going to pull this valve cover off and we'll inspect what's going on with cylinder one. All right, we have the valve cover pulled off. We have the voltmeter setting up here. I already unhooked the wires from injector one. They're both over here and injector two is right here. I only did this so we can ohm out the wires themselves or the, the injectors themselves. You wanna take the wires off and then we'll see if it is the injectors or if it is the wiring. Injector two comes out to one ohm, 0.8 ohms. Injector one comes out to 14 ohms. So it is the injector. I'd say that for sure. Now, I'm gonna trace back these wires just to check them out. Now I'm going on the red one for injector two. The red one for injector two. I have to look at these wires here to see what color they come out to. It looks like the fourth one up. Really, in this connector here, it'll only ohm out to one wire. If it ohms out to several, it's definitely, there's a short and that's not good. This one ohms out to, that one ohmed out to one ohm. This one is like zero, 0 0.1 ohm. This one for injector one ohms out to 0 0.4 ohms. This one on injector one ohms out to 0 0.4 ohms. And one of these ohmed out to one. Nope, 0 0.4. 0 0.4. It was probably the oil. It was probably touching a rocker arm or something. Yep, so the harness is good. It's injector number one that's the issue. So this thing needs injectors. Well, usually my diagnostic videos end with me diagnosing what's wrong with it. A lot of the customers that I have only have me do the diagnostic work. They end up doing the work themselves. But this one's my own. Just change the injectors. It's fixed. So there's the confirmation. She runs healthy. We'll go up here and pull the codes. All right, pulling the codes, nothing for the engine. Fixed.